guys welcome back and thanks for joining me um, I'm going to tell you just a it's an alley shrimp only it's just a completely different colour combination just sort of sticking with the, the, the overall um, general theme and shape of the fly so we're going to tie it on a salar and this is a salar in black and size 11 the thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is the uni thread 80 in far orange Right, so but depending on what pattern I'm tying on the salars, in particular, the alley shrimp, I'll start my thread off in the middle of the hook, and then remove the the waist tag. Now the tag at the back is going to be a French oval silver tinsel. This is a Vanyards in size fourteen. So I'll just get a wee taste of this off. Now you don't have to use the silver wire. You know, I'll say this in most of my videos, you know, you, you tie the, the flies with the materials that you have in your kit. The fly will still work, provided you have confidence in it. Run it down a pool. Now, just going to catch the oval silver tinsel in underneath the shank of the hook. I'm just going to bring my thread down slightly past the points of the hooks and then I'm going to come round with four turns of the oval silver and then on the last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks a couple of secure in terms of hold that in place now don't trim it away in here you know give yourself, yourself something to, to tie in a bit of purchase if you like now the tail it's just going to be bucktail, dyed yellow. Just got a wee pinch off here to get us started. And you can have this as long or short as you like, it's up to you. I'm going to tie mine on roughly about anywhere between a length and a half. And two lengths of the hook is good. Now, a couple of turns will cast that in. Just going to lift the excess. Take that away in a bit of a tapered cut put some flesh into the tail and this is just the blue UV uh, crystal flesh that I get from Vanyard. Uh, it's gonna take off two strands. Just gonna offer this up into the into the tail. Room with a pinch and loop, another turn to hold. Come and fold back the flesh a couple of turns. And trim away the excess now. It's going to moisten them. So at the end this side, because they'll do my my wing. Bring my thread down, tied up against the tag, and then back up a couple of turns now. I'm going to put a wee hat butt on the back. And to do that, I'm just going to get a length of do braid floss number five, and then I'm just going to come in after this up to the hook with a couple of turns. I'm going to leave this waist tag over the back and then we're just going to work her the single strand of the glow braid floss down tied up against the tag the tail and then back up again come around with a turn catch that in bring this wee bit here over just to Bit of auto protection to the floss. A couple of turns catches that in, and then come in and take away your your access. Now, at this point, just take this opportunity to advance your thread on up the hook. Just making sure your cut ends of your bucktail stays on top. Just always bring it back round, nice and tight. Now. We're looking grand. The rib of the fly is going to be an ultra wire in red. So, just get a bit of this off. Found a bit lying on my desk. So, happy days. Now, just catch this in underneath the, the hook shank. And then just work my thread back down, tied up against my butt to there. 
the body is going to be a, a large holographic silver tinsel. That one there. Now there's lots of companies you can get this from. This is just the I get most of my materials directly from Van Yard. Right. Just gonna catch in the holographic tinsel, just put it into the length that I like. And then just work my thread up. Now just try and keep this as smooth as you can. It'll be no big deal if there's lumps and bumps in it. But just do your best. Now, just gonna come around with the silver holographic one turn. Just slightly overlapping the other. Pile this around with my thread. A couple of turns will secure that in. Come in and trim away the excess. Then we can bring up our rib. We're going three turns of the red wire up the body. And then a couple of turns to secure that in. Keeping your thread tight. Come in and bend and break away the wire. Now if you've got designated scissors, you can just trim it away. But it's a waste of a pair of scissors trimming wire away. Now the wing is going to be grey squirrel tail dyed fairy brown. I dyed this myself a few weeks back. That's come out really nice and clean. So we've got some here in the stagger. Let's take this out. Now usually measured main trim but we have enough room to work at here enough room to, at the front that we're working with so just going to measure this up and you can have it as long or short as you like it's personal preference I'm going to have it sort of way coming halfway into the tail just going to hold it on top come around with a pinch and loop a couple of turns to hold just make sure it's sitting where you want it to be just always have a wee check I'm happy enough with that so I'm going to come in and clip away the the excess. Now, a squirrel has a tendency to pull out at times. So I'm just going to take a wee like a super glue here. Just run it onto my thread. And then bring this down where the, the cut ends. We'll go back to our flash that we had for the tail. Just offer the two strands up. And fold the, the excess back. Working the thread back up over the top of the flash. Now I'm going to leave it all in. I'm just going to come in and clip this a wee bit the length that I like. And then just tighten up. Now we're not looking too bad. We'll get our throat, our underwing, which is another pinch of the grey squirrel tail dyed fairy brown. Just get that stack out of the way. And just sort of take a measurement, offer it up underneath. Now it doesn't have to be exact. So just take your time, pinch and loop up the way, tie that in. Now if you can sort of way spin your vase or revert your vase round, not over half of the bottle. So just have a wee check. Straighten that up for you. Yet again, happy enough. Come in and clack the waist ends of the squirrel. Trim that away. Back to my trusty super glue. We lick onto the thread again. Bring this down over the the cut ends back up. Now we're going to put a tippet feather on and this is a golden pheasant tippet feather that has been dyed a fluorescent yellow. Now I've just already prepared it just to try and speed things up a wee bit with the videos. Just offer it up to the length that you want on top of the hook. Around with a couple of turns Right. We'll see what way you're see what way you're sitting. Make sure you're happy enough with it. Which I am. I'm gonna lift up and come in and trim away the excess. Then I'm gonna take my thread down over the the cut ends. Right. 
just going to tighten up here and have a wee bit of a wee bit of a snap coming off. So I'm just going to come in with a like a wax. Just to give us a wee bit of grip. And then work my thread back up into position. Now the front haggle. This is a, a hand haggle. This is a lading, a waiting lace wing. So I'm just going to tie this in. Now, I'm just going to trim the tip of the haggle away. Catch in the wee waist tag. Come in with my scissors. Just gently run it up the stem of the haggle. That will just force those back a wee bit for you. And then you can come in and fold them back. And I'm looking roughly two turns of this, should be plenty. It's one. I'm just going to put another one in. That's two. Now, just keeping a hold of the stem. Follow this around with your thread. Nice and tight with your thread turns. A wee lick of wax on there, it's going to help with the grip. Just going to trim away the stem. At this point, just push everything back and then we can just tidy up the head. Nice and tight. Keeping your thread tight. Where are we here? We'll get the web finishing tool. This is a mess. Yeah, I suppose. If you can find stuff that's an organized mess. And then just come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish. Put your thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your tail thread. Alright, this will be fly done. First coat on the head, as always. So, we smidgen of super glue. Alright, just on the head. You don't want this going into your into your haggle or anywhere else on the fly it'll just ruin your work so just take your time and then once that dries guys I'll come in and throw on a couple of coats of varnish just onto the head just to seal everything up but there you go it's just tied same theme as the alley shrimp just tied a wee bit differently just using the colours hat tag at the back but they give that fly a wee go. Never faced it, so I don't know, but I will have confidence facing it for the the season ahead. So look, tie a few few of those up. Hopefully, they can catch you a few fish. Um, as always, guys, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. I know people are busy. Um, and until next time, please stay safe and tie lanes.